Hi! In this video, I will show you the performance of a Chinese spot welder circuit which you can easily buy online from eBay, Amazon or AliExpress. This circuit is quite famous for its good performance and low price. It provides good spot welding on 18650 lithium ion cells and can be used to design a bank of such batteries. Here are the components that you will receive in the package form when you buy it from any online store. The spot welder circuit which is fabricated on a nice small sized PCB board. A pair of wires which will be used as a pen for spot welding. A pair of wires for connecting the circuit with any 12 volts battery. Heat shrink tubes for the spot welder pen. A decent amount of nickel strip for testing the spot welder circuit. A 25 volts 1000 microfarad capacitor. A piezo alarm buzzer for indication. And some connectors, nuts and bolts for the circuit. The circuit clearly indicates the location of the piezo buzzer, capacitor and input-output connections and with little knowledge of electronics you can easily prepare the circuit and it will be ready to use in no time. So, let's first place the capacitor on to the circuit board and solder it. You can place the capacitor either on the top or bottom side of the PCB but be careful to make the connections with right polarity. Next, solder the piezo buzzer as shown. Use the heat shrink tubes to cover the spot welder pen to avoid shortening it during use. Now let's connect the spot welder pen to the circuit output points as I am showing you here. Make sure to tighten the joints properly to have good performance of the circuit. Also do not tighten these nuts too hard otherwise the PCB board will get damaged. Next, attach the input connection wires as illustrated. Again, make sure to tighten these joints enough to avoid poor performance of the circuit. Now the circuit is ready to be used so let's connect our 12 volts battery to it. You must connect the circuit to the battery with correct polarity direction and it will sound a beep sound when started. The green LED indicates that the circuit is now turned on. You can calibrate this circuit by pressing and keep holding the push button for 2 seconds and it will sound 1 beep for lowest output current and 5 beeps for highest output current. Set the output current using the push button according to the thickness of your nickel strip and you are good to go. It is very important to have a fully charged 12 volts battery for optimum performance of this circuit.
And as you can see, the nickel strip is soldered to the battery terminal. Nice, isn't it? Let's give it another try. And as you can see, a perfect solder joint. Finally, let's check the output voltage of this circuit using a multimeter. The circuit provides 12.45 volts at the output terminals which is exactly the voltage we have provided at its input side and it will remain the same on all the five configurations of this circuit. Here the difference in the configurations is the amount of output current. One beep configuration means lowest current. While five beep configuration means highest current depending on these MOSFETs of this circuit. Enjoyed the tutorial, right? If yes, then don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and like button. See you later!